Hey guys, how's it going? This is Anshul from CF Design Tools and I have been getting a lot of requests for one particular feature where um, where people want to create um, a full width section or rows where the con the content is edge to edge and it's a kind of full screen, something like this. Uh, something like this over here where, uh, you know, everything is touching onto the edges of the browser and typically Pickfunnels restricts you, um, you know, within these limits, it has the fixed uh, width, the rows have fixed width. So, you know, I just want to show you how you can quickly create something like this in little to no, no, no efforts. Um, so let me jump right into it and show you how you can do it. So first, um, this is the, the generic template from ClickFunnels. I, I didn't change a thing over here. I don't know what's going on with this, but um, that doesn't matter. What we are looking is, um, is to create a new section. Okay, let's let's do um, let's create the backbone like the wireframe of what we are of the content and then we'll expand it to the full width. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and add a full width section over here, and then um, as you know, we'll we'll need to add a row. Okay, I'm going to go with two columns. You can do three columns, four columns, uh, whatever you want to. Okay, now as per uh, our reference page uh, we need uh, image on the left and then heading then a divider and the text block and a button so I'll go ahead and add an image okay and I'll just replace it with a pixels image that I have already downloaded uh, it's a great site. I love pixels and then what I need is over here a heading element That's awesome. I'm just going to change it to about gen and I'm going to bold it. Okay, it's not working yeah there you go sometimes in firefox uh, this happens so you know if you are unable to bold the complete headline just do it like in pieces like few words at a time and you'll be able to do that so i'll just expand it to nice 48 pixels so that you know it's it's a it's big enough okay and then add a divider in between okay uh there you go let's make it nice and tight i would okay 10 pixels is good and then height should be like three pixels and color i would prefer the theme color that's going on with the template okay and of course i'm sorry i forgot to adjust the width so i would like it at no 10 percent is okay 25 yeah that that's fine okay and then i would we would just add the paragraph so that we have some content over here again format it as per your liking okay uh Okay, that works perfect. I'll make it to 18. Change the text color to something more subtle. Okay. What I'm going to do now is copy this text and make a, a big text block so that when our uh, you know image is enlarged to you know up to this height uh the text follows as well i mean we just need a few lines yeah over here and then what i'm going to do is add a button over here actually let me do this let me just 
clone this button over and right here okay that that's great I'll just adjust the spacing so that it looks good okay uh, 40 and 15 pixels okay and I would like to make it a pill button I love pill buttons so I may have to readjust the spacing yeah okay horizontal would be 40 and it would be 15 okay so that's that's the bare bones of it now what I'll do is um, I'll change the section settings uh, and click on this get CSS info and then change the data title of the section so I'm what I'm going to uh, put it here and you have to do that as well because so that the code recognize you know this particular section is what we want to make the full width okay so it would be cfdt full width okay that's great then what are we going to do is um, add the code into the into the custom CSS area so all you need to do is copy the code in in the members portal and click on custom CSS and paste the code here okay as soon as you paste the code you see you already have the full width section going on so there are a few tweaks that we need to do uh, on on this right now and uh, we'll be ready to go so first what we have to do is click on the settings and I'll just change the background color to uh, something subtle so that we can differentiate between multiple sections so I'll just you know use this this color okay now as you can see we have uh, a space on the top and towards the bottom as well uh, and towards the sides as well so uh, we'll have to adjust those in the click funnel editors uh, editor itself so how, the way you do it is you know click on the settings and first of all will it's already zero that's great I would also remove the top uh, padding and the bottom padding so that so that they are nice and tight and I this this is really bugging me let me quickly fix the padding of the top you don't have to do it oh, I'm sorry you don't have to do it it's just like you know it's coming in the way so I just added some padding so that we have a clear description and it doesn't distinction I'm sorry and it doesn't you know stick to this particular section okay so now back to uh, our instructions uh, we have removed all the padding from the sections then we'll do the same with the row um, go to into the row setting and remove the top margin as you can see it goes all the way over the top and sticks to the the top of the section and we'll also remove the bottom padding okay left and right are already zero make sure if it's not zero to make it zero okay now we have the full width uh, but as you can see over the over the left there's a little space that's going on uh, so that's that's the padding coming from the column itself so what we'll do is go to this particular column okay yeah this is the our first column and what we'll do is make it left and right zero okay as you can see it expands to whole uh, column and that's just an image you know you can change it change it to your liking so we are halfway over there and the next things we have to do is format this particular column and I'll show you how you can do it so first of all I would like some space from the top so I'll just add a top margin uh, that should be good okay and then uh, I would also like to have some breathing room or the uh, onto the left and the right of this column so what I'll do is I'll just go to columns and go to this particular columns and have some sort of left and right padding over here 
60 looks good and i'll also i'll also add some bottom padding for the mobile version so that the the button doesn't stick to the bottom of the section so 40 is good enough i mean it depends on the 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 length of your content you can adjust the bottom padding so as you know it doesn't overflow the image okay now what i'll do is i'll just go to uh, settings and make it left align uh okay we'll go to advanced and button align to left and i'll also give it a top margin so that it's really okay now that's uh now as you can see i mean we have achieved what we were looking for like the full width section and everything but it uh we have like visually we have less content on the side and uh the image is pretty big so for just the sake of this tutorial and for the aesthetics of it i'll just uh, you know add a couple of more lines to the paragraph so that we have this and i also don't like the 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 vanilla uh, buttons uh, from the click funnel so i'll use so that so i'll use the the cf design tools animated button uh, which which has gradients as well so what i'll do is i'll just copy the buttons i like you can do it as well it's totally free of course um, and i'll just come to the end and hit enter once and paste uh, the code and the button the but all the buttons on the page would be nice um, in the gradient animated thing okay so uh, let's save it and preview it how it looks on a desktop device okay okay so we are getting so we are having clear distinctions between the sections and we know this is full width so and um uh, you know everything looks good however uh, there's one last thing that you'll need to do and this is for this is optional and is for mobile version so uh, click funnels uh, let me show you what i mean by it so if i turn this into a, a responsive mobile uh, device uh, this is how it looks click funnels automatically adds you know paddings to the left and right i mean if it's okay with you uh, you don't have to do a thing uh, but if it's not uh, there's one last thing that you need to do is uh, go back to your editor mode and so for example this this is the column we would also like to make full width on the mobile um, not just on the desktop so what i'll do is um, i'll just go to columns okay and then um, go to this particular column that we want to make full width on the mobile as well and uh, click on it and then go to guess get css info and change the data title to cfdt full with mobile okay now once you do that uh, and click on save and we come back here in in our mobile mode and refresh the page it's all good like you know it's it's touching the edges and you know we have the content here of course you know this needs some mobile responsive um font selection uh font size so we can always fix that but this is how you create the full width section now let me show you i what i've um, created on just to save some some of your time um you know i added one more uh full width section over here uh in into the um into a different page so that you know you can see how back to back full width looks like and it looks really nice uh so uh, on this on this uh section uh i added you know cfdt full width mobile 
to this particular column because I want this image to be full width on this on the mobile. So I hope uh, uh, you're following me on this, like whichever uh, column you want to make uh, full width on mobile, just change the data title as I showed you um, for it. Uh, okay, yeah, just uh, let me know your feedback, how uh, uh, how how you like it, how, how you like the feature, and uh, if at all it is helpful for you. Until the next time, thank you.